I have six resilience as well. Like I'm not even low resilience at all. You have six resilience. Here, watch. No resilience. Watch. My resilience is and you're going eight. to get one burst right. Look at that. Yeah, that's a one burst right there. Wow. YouTube. My name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. All right, folks, get ready. We're going to review a weapon that's going to be next up on the chopping block for a nerf from Bungie. I can guarantee it right now. We're talking about the Outbreak Perfected, the Masterwork version. So today was the final step or the final week that you can get the exotic ship that I think looks... I um, think I'll uh, save that word for myself. Um, and you could also finish off your catalyst and uh, have your masterwork version of the Outbreak Prime. Yeah, that's what the ship looks like, folks. And I was really hoping it was going to look like a uh, perfected version of the Nano Phoenix, but no, it looks like this thing here, the scrap. So I did a review on the Outbreak Prime. Well, was it worth getting? And sure enough, yeah, it's worth it. It's amazing in PvE and PvP. Well, is it worth grinding the exotic catalyst for it? And I'm going to say up front, yes, 100%. For PvP, yes. Uh, for PvE, 100%. So this is an old clip here of me using it in PvE, and it just destroys everything in PvE. Well, you're going to see with the Exotic Catalyst, it does even more work in PvE, but uh, in PvP, if you have the right situation, you, as you saw in the intro, yeah, you can one-burst someone. So what exactly does the Catalyst do? Well, first off, it's going to increase the Nanite damage. As you're hosing down an enemy, uh, Nanites will spawn. They'll do some more damage, but enemies that die with nanites attached to them will generate some additional nanites. Now, I saw a lot of people raving on Twitter about how amazing it is with taking down bosses, and granted, if you go into a raid or a strike and everyone is using Outbreak Prime with the Catalyst, okay, yeah, you, you'll do a little bit more damage, but in my opinion, where this really shines is with ad control. When you're killing ads, I mean, there are just nanites everywhere, well, because of the main perk of the Catalyst, and that's going to be that one, you get increased nanite damage, but the enemies that die with nanites attached to them, they're gonna generate additional nanites. So if you go into just a room or any place in PvE where there's tons of ads and you're killing them, you're gonna have nanites everywhere. And like I said, if you go in with a fire team somewhere and everyone has the Outbreak Perfected Masterwork, man, you're gonna have too many nanites everywhere and do too much damage. So between that and also the one bursting in PvP, once they start complaining, I guarantee you Bungie is going to nerf this weapon. I'm calling it right now. You've seen what they've done recently. They took Whisper of the Worm, Sleeper Simulant, the Ace of Spades, Lord of Wolves, and things that are pretty popular, they tend to nerf. Or not even that they're popular, that they're really strong for taking down bosses. It's obvious whatever the six player match made activity that we're getting with Season of Opulence in two weeks, that's gonna be something where they obviously don't want us to have something overpower that's gonna melt that thing or whatever things are in this activity. And of course, the new raid. So it would not surprise me, folks, if this, thing's catch, if this thing catches a nerf, uh, maybe in the next week or two. What do you think they're gonna do in the comment section? Let me know. So if you're into numbers, we're gonna go back into private matches and revisit that. But when you kill an enemy, whether it's PVE or PVP, if you get a precision kill, you will spawn nine nanites. Now with the catalyst, the nanites have more damage, but enemies that die with nanites attached to them, they're going to generate additional nanites. Well, how many additional nanites? Well, that was all over the place in the clips that I had or trying to actually count on my screen how many, but it was roughly about, I'd say, 10 to 11 extra nanites that would spawn when an enemy would die with nanites attached to them. Outbreak Perfected is going to do 25s critical and also 16s to the body. So for just a normal kill, it's a three burst kill. Now, if someone has nanites attached to them and you get really lucky because they are all clustered up, a la playing Clash, well, you're going to have a good time. And those nanites that hit the additional player, if you get lucky, well, they're gonna do 13, but they're gonna take their shield down pretty much, and then you can, well, one burst them. Those nanites will travel pretty far. I mean, they're not gonna be cross-mapping, chasing people, but I would definitely say if you're going up against 
against someone that's got an outbreak prime if you see them kill the person next to you run get out of that situation because you are about to get killed in one burst that's going to do it for this video guys enjoy this thing before it gets nerfed i am 100 convinced they're going to it just feels way too powerful in pve not so much in pvp unless you get lucky and have really good aim but in pve this thing just destroys everything and with what they're doing with whisper of the worm sleeper simulant uh, ace of spades lord of wolves yeah I th i'm calling it right now prove me wrong bungie prove me wrong please don't nerf this thing all right that's it guys click the link in the description too if you want a chance at winning uh i'm giving away two astro a40 trs with mix and pros the new versions uh in yesterday's well actually no today's video wait what time is it yeah it's 11 24 p.m in today's video that's it guys leave me a hashtag made it to the end if you did make it to the end and do me a favor drop a like in this video only if you see fit follow me on twitter at mesa Shaw. check out my stream usually and always on youtube and that's it i am out of here like vladimir